Their confusions are smaller than them. Mm. Their challenges are smaller than them. Mm. Their problems are smaller than them. Their heartbreaks, as painful as they are, but are still smaller than them. And they have the capacity to overcome that, those mm. pains that they're going through. So I think that's precisely where books like the Gita mm. help a lot. Mm. Because they build in you that sense of confidence. And strength. And strength, fortitude, that I have the power as a spiritual being mm. to overcome everything that's going on going on in my life mm. and i have the power to be able to make a difference mm. and that impact because i am a spiritual being can you can you reference like three big lessons from the bhagavad gita that mm-hmm. stayed with you specifically yes. uh one of the lessons that stayed with me from the gita is a particular text from the second chapter of the gita which talks about uh the summer and the winter season right and this particular text says that the summer and the winter season keeps coming and going every year mm. seasons change mm. and just because the seasons change we never stop performing our duties let's say for example it's chicago and the temperatures are minus 27 degrees celsius people don't stop their work still let's say it's daily it's 43 degrees celsius people are still on and going on with their regular life with a few adjustments here and there obviously so this text of the gita chapter 2 tells us that we have to learn to tolerate the ups and downs and not be distracted from what our main purpose is like when we talk about tolerating uh, failures and pains we can understand but we also have to learn to tolerate our success mm. and the good times mm. because both distract us mm. you know usually we only look at the negatives as distractions but even the positives distract us from what we are meant to be doing so that's something that uh, really kind of uh, stayed with me